Hi, hi, and welcome back. This is, I am the Hall Monitor of the Universe, and this is the Drama Queen of the Universe show. Is that what we're calling it now? Sure. We made this up last night. I thought, there's no one. There's gotta be, no, I thought there's gotta be someone that's Drama Queen of the Universe. We, we looked it up, and there isn't. So now I'm the Drama Queen of the Universe, and you're, and you're who, Marte's Parte still? Yep, always. <laughs> Always Marte's parte. And we thought it would be fun to go since in preparation for Kim K coming to American Horror Story season 12. If you didn't know that, she is starring alongside Emma Rob Emma Stone. No. Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts. I forgot Emma Stone. It's an actual actress. Where are you going? My dog was snoring and I just shut the door because I don't want her snoring to pop up on the background sound. I mean, you look so thin, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to see my little shirt? I'm wearing like a romper thing. Oh, that's so you cute. You look cute, baby. Thank you. You so, look cute. What are we going to do? What are we doing? Instead of in preparation for Kim K, what are we doing? So we decided that we kind of want to re-watch our favorite season and both of our favorite season is season two. So Asylum. To kinda, yes, just to prepare for the new season because I do feel like the past few seasons have fallen off and we want to revisit. The past few? No. Since Roanoke, things went... No, I, can we honestly say things started to digress when Jessica Lang left? Yes, obviously. Okay. She's the queen. Which, if you have not watched the show, Jessica Lang is featured in the first four seasons. She comes back in season eight. She reprises a, her role from Murder House season one and season eight, but that's the last time we saw her. But I feel like re-watching this episode one of season two, what is it called? Welcome to Briarcliff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which Briarcliff is the asylum that ever that that this the whole season's about. But I mean, we've gotten so far away from Jessica Lang, and now seeing her again, and like rep like going back in as Sister June, and like seeing her as this nun, this crazy nun. I'm like, fuck! This show has gone off the rails since. A hundred percent agree. I and when it started, I completely forgot that. I know you did. Everything I forgot everything. So tell me and what you like, forgot. First Opening of all, I scene. Forgot, like, why why is Adam Levine here? Not just Adam Levine, Jenna Dewan, who used to be Channing Tatum's husband, is wife. with Adam wife. Wait, oh yeah, wife. Um, <laughs> who I did work with on a TV show, and she ignored me the whole time I was her waiter outside at a pool, and she just was so fucking rude. But Jenna Dewan, and all I can think about now is when I saw Adam. All I could think, I know what you're going to think about the cheating scandal, but all I can think about is how he's a small dick. Everyone says he has a small dick. I've heard that too. Well, we know people that have actually with him. So exactly. they, they did confirm that. But the thing is, is like, was he a big thing at the time? Like, why was he in the episode? So they had, I think Ryan or whoever, they were pulling, I mean, and I think if we did more seasons, we are going to notice more like random people popping in. Um, I think it was a cool thing. I think that back then it was a really cool thing to see Maroon 5's uh, head of, and with Jenna Dewan. Like, I think Jenna was like nobody. I don't think anyone knew who she was. But him, it was like a huge thing. You're like, why is, why is we Adam Levine was. in the she open? Was in, she was in Step Up. I'm just saying Adam Levine is way more popular than Jenna Dewan. Adam Levine is like a, a worldwide musical star, whereas Jenna Dewan, no one fucking knows her except for in the United States. That's true. But re-watching, it was kind of funny because it's like, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Like, where are you now, Adam Levine? I just saw he has free tickets for Stop. a show coming up. Yes, an Emory um, 5 show. The company I worked for, Sound.me, who like gives me campaigns to do on TikTok, um, they are trying hard to promote Maroon 5, but I gotta say, I keep saying no to the Maroon 5 stuff because it's only like 90 cents for like 500 views and everything else is like at least four or five dollars you're making. But I'm like, even Maroon 5, like you can't pay, whatever. But yes, they are, anyway. oh, how the mighty has fallen. Anyways, I forgot he, him and Jenna were in it. So that was cute 
you know, I, he's not a very good actor, but so I liked, you know, and then it's like, really, you're going in a fucking abandoned, insane asylum to have sex, like, oh, real original. Well, I did think it was funny. Jenna in the scene didn't seem like she wanted to fuck him at all, unless it was like there was something dangerous happening. I mean, that was <laughs> that was the whole thing. Like, I ain't fucking you unless I think I'm going to be murdered in this scene. <laughs> it's like, what was going on? Um, <laughs> so they open up Jenna Dewan, Adam Levine visiting Briarcliff, and then, and I do know, I did notice, and this is going to be a spoiler for the the whole season, but it's crazy how they tell you the the uh, the murderer in the first five minutes of yeah. the show, which I mean, sure, everyone's seen it, so it's not like a big thing, but like it is funny that they say bloody face in the first five minutes. So it's like, yeah. but I guess that makes sense because it's like they're telling a story from the past. And I forgot all of it. I forgot about bloody face. I forgot about the aliens. Like, I mean, when you saw, okay, I won't get to it, but when we get to the end, I want to ask if you remember. Um, so we, we see bloody face in the first five minutes and then we cut to, or we hear about it. Um, yes, Evan Peters, um, Evan Peters, what's his name in the show? Kit? Kit. So I fell in love with Evan Peters in the first season, but like it felt wrong because he was a mass murderer, right? In the first season. Mm -hmm. But in this, I am horny for Evan <laughs> Peters. Like his, his pink lips, like... Oh, he's hot in it. <laughs> so hot. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh, Evan Peters. Like, this is like when I feel like he was in his prime too. Like, he was looking good. Well, not prime, but they are all very young. Even when Paulson comes on, I was like, oh. I, I mean, we're we're like hiking back. Like, I forgot this was like, what, 15 years ago? I mean, this is a long time ago. Wait, yeah, was it 15? It I think it's 2011. So, I mean, we're creeping up. Yeah. It was definitely but up. Evan was definitely very, he's very young. And we yeah. get introduced to him working at a car shop. And, and then, then we introduce. Wife, right, or his girlfriend. The wife who's black. And, yeah. uh, and that is, so I also thought it was crazy in this scene. Tell about, do you remember this scene? Or not, Which, do you remember? The scene, like, they show you right away kind of what's happening. Like, like they kind of show you. I completely forgot, like, there was aliens. I remember, like, once I started thinking about it, I remember that the end of the season, aliens being brought up again. But I completely forgot it was right from the jump. That it's right. like, oh, murderer, aliens. I'm like, oh, shit. They're well, really and happy. In the, well, and in the, they show, like, on the table, like, later on in the episode, he gets, like, fucked by one of the alien's hands, Evan Peters. I'm like... But I think when we were watching it, it, this being so new and horror story being so new, those, now that we know, I don't think we knew new. Like, I yes, we knew that like they're alluding to aliens, but we didn't, I think in horror anthologies, we never know. Like he could be hallucinating, right? We don't know what's going on because he's, anyways, we're jumping ahead. So after, wait, what happens next? After he fucks the, the woman, she gets so then abducted, we see, right? We see Sarah Paulson, as Lana going to as Lana. Yes. Lana or Lana. Is it Lana? I think I think Jessica Lang calls her Lana Banana later on. Yes. So it's Lana, but everyone okay. else says Lana. I don't know what it is because I just always think Lana Lane, like Lois Lane, and she's a reporter. So yeah. I think it's I think it's funny. And so Paulson goes in and she pretends that she wants to do an article about the bakery. When in reality, they know, she knows that Bloody Face, AKA who's being charged for right now is Evan Peters, is being brought into the asylum. So she is there to report on that. Which I also forgot that he was accused of being Bloody Face. I'm like, I, do I not Same. remember anything? Like when they yeah, showed me, I like, was like, what? I remember just because I watched it a couple of years ago. So I started to like ding, ding. I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. I remember that. We're I've, also in I've watched this season since it came out. Like I may have rewatched it or like back when it was still like on my DVR, you know? Right. Like because right. I still sometimes when a season ends, I like to rewatch it, like knowing yeah. what I know. Um, so I probably rewatched it, but back then, like so it's been what, like almost 10 years. Well, yeah, over 10 years. I mean, that thing came out. Oh yeah. If it's 2011, then yeah, it's over. Well, and it could it could be longer years because didn't a couple years were like taken from the pandemic. So I wonder how many years it actually is since they started American Horror Story because I don't think technically it came out every year. I think that's like how we're like looking at it. Um, 
So where goes from now we're going asylum meeting Paulson. Oh, we also meet Lily Rabe. Is that her name? Mm-hmm. And she's she's the the little nun, uh, second to Jessica Lang, and she's kind of like this. Oh my! Like doesn't know what to do. Has no um, self confidence. Is very much a slave to everyone around her. Right? Um, I mean, do you remember what happens with her? Because it's exciting. No. Oh, girl! It, her part, Lily Rabe's part. I'm not gonna say it, but like, it's the best part of the season. I remember because something crazy happens to her. But and then we're also introduced to Chloe, which I was thinking, was she in any other seasons? Yeah, she comes back, I believe. Didn't she come back in Roanoke? Wasn't she one of the people or was that Lily? I get her and Lily r- confused a lot. I think she might have been in the next season or no, the fourth season. What was that? The circus one? Freak show? I feel like she was in Freak Show, but I don't remember her in any other seasons. Chloe goes on. I do believe she comes back, but Chloe goes on to do other, like she's in other shows and stuff. I think she kind of leaves the Ryan Murphy world or I just I feel love like, that as soon as, as soon as she sees um, him, she's just like horn it up. She's like, hey, you know. Who? Evan Peters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's fucking, I mean, I would I just gobble love that knob. Just like, oh, I speak Greek. And she like bends over in front of him. But you made me think, like, I haven't heard that term in a long time. I used to hear it a lot when I worked in the adult I've never industry. heard it. It's a, it's a saying meaning I do it in the butt. Okay. But I'm like, it made me start thinking. I'm like, where did that even come from? <laughs> that it's like, who knows where it is? Known, and it's a widely yeah. known term. Like, where do these widely known terms come from? Like, who is spreading the information? Well, I was just saying, like, memes. One person does a meme, and then we never know who does it. Kind of like but that. But back then, there was no internet. Yeah, so but it's like, the same shit. It's the same stuff. One person says it, and then it's, it's kind of like tongue of mouth who you talk to. Now everyone puts their shit out there. So everything's like recycled but back then it was like very so like how are these how are these terms spreading back then it's just funny that everyone knew it it just reminds me to like remember back in the day when everyone said Marilyn Manson gave himself a blowjob like how did we all know that but did he I don't think so but that was like I don't think so he did he did going around like in in like middle school and everyone knew it in other cities and other states like everyone has heard this and I'm like where did this come from and how did it spread across the United States this was before although, Twitter although people did hear that he blew himself in in all reality he just raped his girlfriend that he was with the, the one that was on Westworld don't why are you laughing it's because it's funny. like that's true it's like no but it's literally like instead of blowing him <laughs> yeah if you look at this documentary he raped uh the main star from Westworld on the set of a music video with production and everything allegedly allegedly don't send me any do not desist but like or do not whatever deceased what is it Decent and desist whatever girl what? deceased <laughs> DC, DC, CDC. No, that's just um, what's hilarious. It's like these people can be full on predators, but they're just still out there in the world, like living their lives, sucking, sucking their own dicks, girl. Sucking their just own dicks. Their... That must be nice. Doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't sucking your own dick make you really gay? I mean, and then what if? And what if he's like, no, I suck. I suck my dick good. It's like, like I swallow. I swallow my shit. It's like, no, bitch, you're a fucking faggot. Okay. Um, I did love Marilyn Manson though, growing up, baby. Did you not? Or were you not? No, I, did. I did. I was, I I did love the beautiful people. The beautiful people. I do not. Okay. I did. I will always remember though, like Rose McGowan in that see-through dress. Yes. Everything. That's Doing my Doing the thing. Time. Yeah. People, you think Julia Fox is ahead of her time. No, 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 no. Look up Rose McGowan, who was probably raped as well by Marilyn Manson. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. But look up her dress. She was like one of the only people that I remember showing her nipples. Like Everything. full on. It was literally yeah, like she wasn't She didn't even show her clothes. pussy. Yeah. It's the purse was covered. Anyways, what, what were we talking about? I don't know, girl. We got off on this horny subject, girl. Where are we at? So we got, we, we talked about, so now we're in the, are we in the asylum girl? Yes, I don't we know. are. Yes. Okay. Oh, guess who else is in the cast? Kelly Ripper's husband, uh, Mark Consuelos. He was the, 
He's the creepy Mexican guy with the weird teeth. Oh, that's I Kelly Ripper's you. husband. Yes, Kelly Ripper. Kelly Ripper from Good Morning America or whatever. I thought, I thought you were saying Ripper. I'm like, no, Ripper, Ripper, that annoying white bitch that's on the TV in the morning, girl. That used to be with Regis. Oh, is she still on TV? Girl, I don't know, but that's her husband. That's all oh, I know. Still Mark- married. Bitch, you're asking me questions. I don't know. She could be dead for all I know. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Okay. Right, rest in peace if you are Kelly Ripper or whatever. But that is her husband. Allegedly. Ever all of this is allegedly, except for our facts about horror story. Um, but like to what you were saying earlier, they bring in these he brings in these odd characters. Like he probably yeah, he didn't need to do the show, you know? But true. they're like, hey, I wonder how that connects. It's like come in and do a couple episodes of this, you know? And you never see him again. That's true. He does like to bring in random celebrities for these, like, so maybe Kim's just going to be a random celebrity guest appearance. No, no. Kim was confirmed to be the star. Kim and Emma, so uh, in season 12, it's based off of a book called Delicate, and I believe it's about two women. So she's one of, it's going to, listen, we're not getting out of this. Should we read the book? No, I'm not reading nothing. (laughs) Fun fact, the woman who wrote all of season 12 um, followed me and I didn't know who she was. She followed me for quite some time and I'd see her pop up and I'm like, I don't know who this is. And it said she's in the industry, but a lot of people followed me from an industry. Well, they announced that Kim Kardashian was ahead of it and I flipped out and I started talking shit and she unfollowed. <laughs> but I just wonder, it's like, why is the showrunner of American Horror Story season 12 following me? I, what For what reason? If you're not going to book me, Bitch, because you're hilarious. Bitch, because they're stealing shit is what they're doing. They're stealing jokes. Are you okay? (sighs) Look at those tits. Oh, fine. You win. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, Kelly Ripper's house. Some of the best ever, I hear. So we're in, oh, yeah. Some of the, wait, the smoothest? Was Was that what they, is that what that? That person said? That disgusting human being said? I almost texted him today. I wanted to talk dirty. Um, (laughs) Anyways, we're going to have to cut that out. Girl, no one's going to understand what the fuck we're saying. So we're in the the asylum. Um, Lana Banana is trying to report. She's starting to see clown fuckery going on in the asylum, right? We meet the bald doctor. And then you wonder it's like who's the bad guy because then you're like okay they're is all it terrible Lang or is it the bald doctor because then Jessica Lang like she seems like she's evil but she also just seems like she's like overly holy you know I don't know if in Ryan Murphy world things are evil and good I feel like everyone like when we get to like the part where Lana Banana's like outside smoking her cig and she you know this is how she gets caught whatever I'm thinking He's like, they make her so hoity-toity when she's out there. I'm like, you deserve to get fucking put in there. Cause you're like putting your nose in shit. You shouldn't be putting it in. Like exactly. you don't deserve it. And she's probably the most at this point, what they're showing her, they're showing Paulson to be the most innocent, right? Like yeah. the soothsayer of it all. And um, so at this point we're seeing little tidbits of everyone. I just, can I just say, I love seeing Jessica Lang and her little red negligee. So yes, let's get into that. So they're they're kind of like telling us a little bit about her, but they show her get into this red and put like perfume on and she goes to see the Monsignor, girl, the Monsignor, who she's hitting on. And all I'm thinking is all he wants to do is fuck a child. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to fuck you. Okay, that I mean, he's a priest, a male priest. He doesn't want to fuck Jessica Lang, but they show her taking her hat off she has this lovely wig girl on with these like little pearl pin down curls and she sits on his lap and I was like I wasn't turned on but I was definitely like okay Jessica Lane could be sexy still like yeah. it didn't get I me going that but it it's, just, I love that it was just a fantasy too like it wasn't really happening right well and they are starting to tell her backstory with it I remember her backstory now specifically so they are doing a good job kind of foreshadowing what's to come with all that. But they are also showing how Jessica like, oh, are we there yet? Hold on, let's look. Bald doctor. I noticed something. Ryan Murphy loves for his actors to smoke. Yeah, 
I can see Girl, that. Girl, Paulson smoking with her lesbian lover at the table. They're saying it's pot. But I mean, Paulson's always smoking in every season. They're always yeah. fucking. Jessica Lang too. Jessica Lang's always smoking. Yeah. He wants them to die. Like, I, <laughs> I guess because I feel like back in the day, smoking was like sexy, you know? No, it makes sense. But like, this is, this is what I always think. We, I, we won't miss it. I don't think putting a cigarette as a prop in someone's hand, I don't personally, and I'm not like a producer, I don't fucking know, but I don't think we would miss them showing because to me, like when I would watch Sex in the City and she was always smoking, all it did was make me want to smoke. Like that's all it was doing. And that's all well, it does to anyone who's a smoker. Maybe that's what they're planning. So what you're saying is Ryan Murphy is part of the nicotine and he is trying to kill everybody is what you're saying? Or he's getting big endorsements from nicotine to so people are getting subliminal messages. Girl, isn't nicotine done? Who smokes anymore? Fucking Do you know someone people. who smokes? My mom vapes. Is okay, that- vape. Vape is not smoke. It's just as bad. It's just as bad, but it doesn't stink. It kills them without smelling, which I would rather. Like, if you're going to die, don't smell next to me. Like... I think it still stinks, but I've never smoked. So I feel like I don't like people. I don't like people. You don't like people? I don't like people. I don't like smoke. <laughs> you heard it here I first. Love your pearls. Marte, Marte hates trans people. That's the takeaway. <laughs> Thank you. I got these. So I got these pearls. They are a family heirloom. I got them from my aunt Walmart in um, when she passed. <laughs> In 1999. Um, all right. So I, I wrote down Jessica Lang is Jones and for, for some priest dick. I mean, I she down. was. Um, then Lana goes looking at, so as she's trying to get the dick, Jessica, Lana's outside investigating, smoking her cigs. Something's going on outside with Lily Rabe. Lil, wait, right? Yeah, Lily yes. Rabe. Rabe and the fucking creepy doctor. I just yes, love the all cre- the mystery so far because like I yes. said, I remember any of this and this is like what I missed about American Horror Story where you don't know what's happening and like you feel a little anxious and you're like, is it going to be scary? Is it going to be creepy? Like, because you well, never, I- back then when like when it was good, you just never know what to expect. So I really right. like experiencing that again because then it's like oh is it a monster is it a creature they like I think I vaguely remember he like made a creature or something but who knows but right now I'm like I don't even know because my brain's just actually going there looking how he experiments on people it's like oh well clearly he like it's a person he fucked up on or who knows but it's fucking scary you know well and I think too with Asylum they didn't get too big for their britches at this point yet they're like they have one solid story. And so with one solid story, you have all these episodes where you can character develop and then also take the characters down. Whereas in double feature, the season I'm in, they, for whatever fuck reason, did it two different stories. And I think that's what was lacking was character development specifically with Death Valley. Like Death Valley, Red Tide should have been the entire season and then death valley should have been the next season and you should have incorporated asylum because that's what it seemed like was gonna happen that's when we see the aliens and then we pop into the aliens in season 10 i want to say hopefully that they were trying to do that and maybe the pandemic stopped them from doing that but they fucked it up yeah like they fucked it up they missed the mark completely because they're so good at connecting other seasons why didn't they make that connection god and then we go into season 11 which I loved, but I loved as a queer person. I could see that season bombing because you're taking a female-led show and doing a all-men gay show. It To me, that seemed like Ryan Murphy was like, I don't fucking care what happens. Let's just put it out. That's what yeah. it seemed like. It seemed like a, like a love project almost, you know? It almost just feels like he's not even a part of the show anymore. Well, and now we're fucking totally off the rails with Kim Kardashian. So, I mean... Do you think Sarah Paulson's going to come back anytime soon? No. Why do you think that? She just, I feel like she's been getting less and less in the show anyways. And she just, it doesn't seem like she cares or maybe him and her got into it or something, but it's like, there's something definitely going on where I feel like it's not, she's not in it anymore. Just like Jessica Lane, you know, like I, I always wonder what happened there too, because 
she was so good in so many seasons. And then she was just like, bye, you know? I feel like Jessica Lang, if I had to guess, probably ran her shit. So she probably just did whatever she wanted to. And if I, and I do know a little bit. And from what I've heard is Lang didn't like the hours having to like film. And I do know for a fact that the last season they filmed, she had a lot of scenes with Paulson where Paulson had those two heads and it mm-hmm. like doubled the time of filming. And she's an old woman and her fucking like old, you know what I'm saying? She's like, I don't want to be here for fucking 15 hours at, at night. Like, or did Paulson get her out? Cause she's like, I want to be, I, I don't think so. Cause her and Paulson are very close. I maybe, I don't think, oh, sorry. I love Paulson. I don't think she has that much power at that point. I think Jessica Lang, Jessica Lang would have, if I think if Ryan Murphy, if Jessica wanted it, I bet you Ryan Murphy would have kept her for every season. Don't oh, you think? She, I wish he would have. <laughs> she was the show. I don't yeah. think she was intentionally supposed to be the show. I think Connie Britton was supposed to be, but once we saw her acting range, which is like this, like we can't have, like how great would it have been if Paulson was the mom in the first season? Yes, and not just the psychic. Yes, I think she would have been great. Yeah. But she had her little scatter time, baby. All right, so Lana goes looking outside. She gets caught by Lily Rape. Like, oh, Raby. Then we flash back and now time. Oh yeah, so then we hop back and we check on Adam Levine and Jenna. And Adam's arm gets cut off. Which I do like. I forgot that they do the flashbacks. I do like that they're doing that. Because I feel like in other seasons, sometimes when they start off the show with like things like this, you don't ever see it again. Like it's one little snippet. Or you'll see it in season, or you'll see it in episode three. Yeah. But I do think we drop their storyline after a couple episodes. They're not in the full the full series. I think yeah. they kind of tear off a little bit. But I like that they're uh, kind of back and forth. Well, because I this this whole season, I think it's so good because I remember the ending now and we like hop into something. So like they really do a full like we start here, we end here, like very good, like storytelling in this. Um, So then we come back and Sarah Paulson is now in the asylum with this with the the nice little um, nun. Anyways, we know what's going to happen, right? Seriously, like, how dumb are you? You're really going to go- Stupid in- bitch. Like you, like you said, you deserve it. Like, she didn't deserve it. But, like, how did you not know that that was going to happen? So, yeah. So, through Jessica Lang finding out that she is a dyke, th- then fucking she- It's crazy that she does that, though. She goes to her girlfriend and gets her- And Jessica Lang goes to her girlfriend and pretty much threatens her to say that she's going to out Paulson. And that actor who- did you know that that actor who plays the wife wrote um, that gay movie with Kristen Stewart? Uh, yeah, wrote that, and she was in Veep, too, which she's so fucking funny in Veep. But she's another one that was only in the first season, or in the second season, and then you never see her again, you know? Yeah. I always remember she probably her, has like, teenage movie. What movie was yes. she in? She was in a bunch of it, but she never started playing a lesbian. But now, I mean, she's total lesbian. I would assume there's a very funny meme of her on a, on a zoom call and they asked her something about that movie. And she's like, well, yeah, I am a lesbian. And the chick from poker face, um, she was also in, uh, orange is the new black, the red hair. She's like on all these shows now, you know, what I'm talking about the girl from that. Very, show? No, very New Yorker. Oh yeah. You know, with, the big hair. with the big red hair. Yeah. So she's I like, well, that. I am a lesbian. And, and she goes, she's on the Zoom and she goes like this. <laughs> like that? I, it is, I'll send it to you. Natasha to it's something. So, Natasha Leon. Natasha yeah. Leon. Thank you. If we, had a, if we had a producer, people, this would be more organized, but we're poor. Yes, the producer just told me. <laughs> oh, you have a producer? I have background oh, actors. This just in. Yep. Wait. Natasha hey, Leon. excuse me. We're, we're, we're setting back up again, doodle. Excuse me, doodle. <laughs> Guess he's not listening. Um, he's like, who me? Oh, did you wake up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Paulson gets locked up. Oh, and then during this time, the doctors find oh, yeah, that thing, neck. Oh, yeah, so the doctor takes Evan Peters, who we, who we think, we don't know for sure if he's bloody face, but he for sure knows that he's not bloody face. I feel like they're leading it that he's not. 
Like, right, but he, have- we don't really know. We don't know by what we're watching. We know because we've seen it. But I think as viewers, we're not sure yet. I feel like this is still fresh, like fresh eyes for me. I feel like they're painting him to be very sweet and innocent. So I don't feel like he's bloody face. You I, do I, feel, yeah. I, as the viewer, feel like he's in there wrongly. I mean, I know that it could it could be a an illusion or like, you know, something to trick me. But as of right now, I feel like, oh, it sucks. He's innocent. Like he just got raped by aliens. You know, no big deal. He's not a murderer. Is it bad that when that alien stuck his tentacle up Evan Peter's ass that it turned me on? Alien porn? I mean, come on. <laughs> Have you watched cartoon porn? I didn't until someone else told me about this. I don't remember why it came up on my, oh, it was like, we were playing a board game, like uh, Cards Against Humanity, and it said something mm-hmm. about tentacle porn. And I'm like, what is tentacle porn? So we Googled it, and there's a whole porn, like cartoons of like octopus tentacles. like Fucking, fucking- people? Yes. That can't get people off. It's a whole genre, so apparently it does. And that means that there's probably rich people that own octopuses and get fucked in the ass by a tentacle. Of course. Rich people do that. <laughs> um, I meant like cartoons, like they take Tarzan and Aladdin and make them fuck. I'm not talking about bestiality. No. Wait, is there kids in that? Is there kids? No, but I don't want to hear that. I have oh, kids. stop it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, everybody. We have a Disney adult. Everybody, calm down. We have a Disney adult. Don't you dare say that about Aladdin. Come on, George Santos. Take Disney down. That was a fucking joke. George Santos needs to fucking suck a dick. No, I will not okay. watch cartoon porn, you fucking weirdo. Well, I don't either. I was just asking. I, I like have never porn like a real person, okay? I have never seen Tarzan enter Aladdin in anything, okay? Never, never, not once. And Tarzan didn't have this huge fat uncut cock either. So you can see it on Pornhub. Anyways, so we are baldy... Not sponsored, yes. Baldy starts to, oh yeah, experiment on Evan Peters. I call him Baldy. Baldy is the doctor. Um, Baldy, oh yeah, so the chip comes out. So Baldy knew where he was looking too. So in Evan Peters, he like pulls this chip out of his neck that is futuristic. I mean, it's not, no one's seen anything like that back then. And then it fucking gets little legs like a spider and crawls away, girl. So we know, so yes, the the aliens are confirmed. Correct? At least to us, the viewer, maybe not to Baldy. No, I also think, no, ba- I think Baldy knows. Baldy, this isn't the first time he's seen some weird shit like that, is what I think. And I don't remember if that's the truth or not. But I think what we get so disappointed about is the ending. They do so much of this uh, extraterrestrial shit, and they don't really show any of it at the end. Yeah. I do remember what happens, and it's very beautiful what they write. But that's why it would have been such a good throwback to do Death Valley going into Asylum. Anyways, I'll shut up. So um, Death Valley, you should die. <laughs> um, I'm just joking. You shouldn't die. I mean, not allegedly. So, but allegedly, Jessica Link threatens Sarah's girlfriend. We talked about that. So big takeaways, big like big things that I think back then we weren't really seeing a lot. I think Murphy is showing a really cool lesbian um, couple. And they're not showing, they're showing it in a very real what would happen way. So I, I'm very happy about that. And I think that is something he went back to in season 11, but with gay people. So I do appreciate that type of storytelling. I do also appreciate him being married to a black woman and them showing exactly what would happen if a white person was married to a black woman in this time. Definitely ahead of his time at that t- at that time. Because if we think about the shows that were airing in 2011, 12, whenever this yeah. came, there wasn't a lot of that on TV, you know, right, like, right. there was, you have a few shows here and there, but he definitely was like, ahead of his time, being inclusive, you know, and like, all, but also a good show, like interesting, keeping you interested, because even now I'm like, oh, I kind of want to watch the second episode, like, because on Hulu, they don't show you previews for the next episode, you know, so yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, I'm getting into it again because I've watched every season of American Horror Story as it aired and I've slowly fallen off the bandwagon. You just lied, yeah. You haven't watched every season. 
Well, I didn't, I watched the first episode of the last season. I didn't like it. I just think the last season should have been a feature. And yeah, I just couldn't get into it. Yeah. I tried. That's why I'm saying yeah. I've slowly fallen off the bandwagon. Even some of the American Horror Stories, I liked those short stories. Oh. Not all of them were good. Some of them were stupid, you know? The American Horror Stories should fully on connect to an episode. Like, I think it should be, like, I was thinking, I probably shouldn't say this one here. I'm not going to say it on here because it's a pitch that I have. But something in my idea, like, it would be, like, even, like, having a revamp of something. Why don't they, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. But I do like how they revisited season one. In, American in what Horror, part? In American Horror Stories. Like, the st- horror stories when they were. Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. I enjoyed when they but went all back the in America. Stories- should have revisited other seasons. No, they I loved the Coven episode with the dolls in the house. I thought that was a really solid episode, but that was like with Coven. Any of those episodes, and there was a couple standalones that were fantastic. But I, you know, I just think American Horror Stories is Ryan Murphy getting greenlit for some shit. And it's just like a cheaper show, is what it is. Yeah. Cheaper show with cheaper people. That's why you're only seeing, you're not seeing Paulsons or Langs on there, girl. You're only gonna see like later people. That don't got nothing to do. Okay. Yeah. So my takeaway from this episode is I think it was a good first episode, especially now, like thinking back following season one, this was a new thing where they made the second season, a whole different story. Shows didn't do that back then. That is a very good point. So that was another exciting thing for American Horror Story. We were like, what? They're going to take all these. You are so right. They are going to take all these characters and it's the same actors, but different characters. And then you get even more excited because then they start wedding coven, intertwining multiple people, which kind of yeah. went off the hinge a little bit. I got to yeah. say, I think it went off the rails a little bit. So since this was like the fresh season of it's a completely different story with all the same actors, it was like, oh my God, this is so cool. So like, I'm remembering like the nostalgia of that. And I'm like, okay, this is good. This is a good totally episode it had everything I liked I loved the opening credits I I remember oh. when horror story had good opening credits yeah I was like, gonna say the opening credits do you if it's a show you love do you watch the opening credits yes I do too I always I feel like I have to in order to enjoy the show so yeah. if it's a horror story or star Trek or any of those things I full-on watch the credits with the yes. songs because I white lotus I did it every time if I love the show, I so appreciate the music yes. and the credits and the art that go along with it. I love mm-hmm. it. The Office. I mean, I've seen it. Yes. So the Office. Friends. Times, and I still watch it every time. The best oh. opening I love and I think is the best of all time is Buffy. Because it starts out with the, ooh, and it's like a werewolf sound. And then it goes into like this, like hard rock. But you would watch it every time because half seasons they would change all the visuals so you wanted to see what they were putting it was the first kind of time you saw a super edit you know what i'm yeah. saying like a very like clip 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 with like this really cool music so of course you'd want to watch it right it was like yeah. the cool part so I and then i would sit there uh after watching this episode it makes me like as a viewer excited for the rest of the season i'm like what's gonna happen yes is he the murderer are the aliens real? Is Lana Banana going to be stuck there? You know? Lana what, Banana. I, what is Doctor all about? Dr. Baldy? You know? So it's like, definitely good first episode. I think it was a good start for like what we're trying to do here. Because eventually wait. we will watch the new season and talk about it together. Not eventually we're going to. I just want to say when we Well, saw whenever Lana, it comes out. When we saw Lana Banana like this, like... And then she walked in, she had that thing on her head and she was just like this. I have to say I laughed out loud because I just, she was just like. And I only worked with Paulson as Linda Tripp and as Eleanor fucking Roosevelt or whatever. But you were great, girl. But this is prime. This is kind of friends. So it's kind of We're friends. We're friends. friends. We're friends. Listen. I tried to get her to come to a live girl and she ignores me. She only answers me when she, when it's something that intrigues her baby or when I call her a cunt. <laughs> I did call her a cunt two weeks ago and she's like, yep. And I'm like, bitch, it's the only thing that I can say to you that she'll respond. Like literally. Your next episode is called Sarah Paulson is a cunt. 
I think that episode has been out for quite some time. You'd have to look in the, the old logs. What? Who's that? That's Paisley, girl. She's the, she looks- she's our block. She's our blind, deaf, diabetic dog. Paisley! I've she never seen one. her walking before. Oh, because she's always laying down. Yeah. yeah. Paisley! Hey, baby. You okay, mama? She looks terrible. Oh. All right, listen, this has been an episode of Queen of... Wait, I, I, I don't even know the fucking name of the new thing. Drama Queen of the Universe? Yes. Yes, Drama Queen of the Universe, girl. Drama Queens of the Universe, Dolly. If you liked us, loved us, we do got to find a cute little picture to put on as our thing. I was thinking we should like collage something of us and put it as our artwork for the podcast. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you loved this, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't, our names are Sarah Paulson. Okay. I got to go. I'm posing in case you use this. Hold on, I'll pose too. Let's just do poses. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye.